All right, well, let's get started. First things first um, is I'm just gonna give you kind of a quick overview of how to hold the guitar. And I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this. And a lot of the stuff I spend time on, I'm gonna go like really quick too. Caden, you're from Topeka, that's awesome. Love Topeka. Um, so when you're holding your guitar, um, you want to uh, make sure that you're nice and relaxed because if you play for an extended period of time and you have like tension or like you're super hunched over, that is gonna sit on your lap. I hope I don't hit Brody here. Our dog is sleeping, I was gonna hit him. Um, you may need to put a book underneath your leg. If you're right, if you're playing a right-handed guitar, like, like a lot of people, you'll, you'll put a couple of books and it'll raise the guitar to a nice level so that you're not doing one of these things, okay? So don't be afraid to do that. Sometimes I take my left foot and I just put my right foot on top of it just to raise it up a little bit. So Kayla's doing a little bit of that too. <laughs> All right, next thing. Do you have a pick? Um, it's okay if you don't for now, but if you do have a pick is um, you're going to take your point, your pointer finger and you're going to point kind of, kind of right down the nose like that. And then your thumb kind of comes across the other way. I know that's not a really sharp picture. And when you, when you hold the pick, um, you don't want to hold it real hard, but you don't want to hold it soft enough that it'll fall out when you play. Um, so, so that's kind of how you hold your pick. And the way that you would want your shoulder to be and your arm is, uh, and you want this part to rest right here, nice, so that when you strum, you're actually strumming kind of over your sound hole, okay? Try that just for a little bit. And I'm not doing anything with my left hand right now. You just want that to be a nice, relaxed motion, okay? Now your left hand, for, for those of you that are right-handed players, um, it's really important that, that uh, I'm gonna talk about my thumb for a second. Your thumb is not gonna grip it like a baseball bat. Your thumb is actually going to come on the back. Uh, again, not gripping like a baseball bat, but the pad of the thumb is just gonna come right here so you can slide up and down the neck. Nice and easy. So try that, just put your thumb on here and don't put your fingers down. Just slide up and down the neck a little bit. See how that feels? So the trick here is this, you might have just a little bit of your thumb sticking out from the top. But the trick here is when you bring your, the rest of your fingers down to, to do like chords and hold down the strings, you're actually going to be pressing it down almost like you're squeezing from both sides. Squeezing from both sides, but the part that does not hit the guitar is like right in here. That part, See how that is there? It's not like this. That's not what you want. You don't want to grip it and you don't want this part to be in the palm. You actually want to keep your palm, your palm off the back of the guitar and have your thumb slide. So keeping all that in mind, quick overview. Uh, make sure you have your leg elevated. You're sitting up kind of comfortable. You've got your pick in your hand, gripping like I showed you before, um, strumming over the sound hole, and then you're just gonna have a nice grip here. All right, so let's just try a couple strums like this. We're not gonna put anything down. Now, notice the neck of my guitar. This is the neck here, all right? Um, look at the angle of my neck and the angle of Kayla's neck, yeah. So what you wanna do is kind of rest it enough and, and press it down enough that the neck of the guitar is not held down here and it probably needs to be somewhat elevated and you definitely don't want it like this. If you're wearing a strap right now, which neither of us are wearing a strap, it's totally fine. Um, if you wear a strap, that's gonna feel a little bit more comfortable too, okay? So uh, neck kind of elevated and nice and relaxed. All right, that's, that's kind of the overall of the posture. Now, uh, we're not gonna go over tuning. I, I did another video about that, but hopefully you're in tune with us and we're gonna launch in on some of your very first things that you're gonna play, okay? Um, you ready? Yeah. Okay, all right, Kayla's ready. Are you guys ready? You don't have to type that you're ready unless you really want to. 
We've got 14 people in here so far. A lot of people are going to join us later by watching this. Um, so make sure you subscribe. What do they say? What was Joshua telling me last week? Make sure you hit the the bell icon for notifications. for notifications. I don't know what that means. Okay, so hit the bell icon. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe. I don't know what any of that totally means. Okay, yeah. All right, so here's what we're going to do. The first thing I'm going to teach you is going to require two fingers, okay? So if you hold up your fingers like this, it's going to be your two fingers right here. Nice way to remember this first part is you can go, um, wait, this is I love you, and this is rock on. I love you, rock on, but it's these two fingers, okay? And so you flip that around. You're going to put this over here, and I'm going to hold up my guitar, hopefully for you to see. You're going to hold down not this first thick string here. You're going to be holding down starting on the second one, and I've got my, uh, what finger is this? That's my, that's my middle finger. It's going to go right here. <laughs> and um, then your other finger is going to go on the next string below. And you're going to put it right here on this second fret. These are all, these are all, all called frets. This is your first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And a lot of guitars have these dots on the third, fifth, seventh, nine and 12th fret, okay? And we can explain later what that is, but 12 meaning that's an, a full octave, same note, but an octave up. For those of you that know music, same note, okay? But we're gonna be all the way down here on the second fret, and you're gonna want to, uh, again, watch where your thumb is at, not holding it like a baseball bat, and you're gonna press down the strings. They should sound like this when you play it. Try that. See if you can kind of get that. Kayla, wow. That's really good. Try, try that a couple more times for us. Looks good. Now, I'm checking her, I'm checking her hand position here. You want to make sure there's a little bit more gap back here in your thumb. So you're kind of like squeezing that. There you go. Do that. That's good. See how you guys uh, do with that. Play that a few times. Doesn't matter if it's in time. We're learning to play guitar. If you can do this, you'll be able to learn all the chords. This is just the beginning. Now, let me mention one thing before we go on from here. As you're holding this down, and this is going to be a little difficult the first time, okay? And you're going to be like, my fingers are not agreeing. And that's normal. Are your fingers hurting already? Okay, are your fingers hurting? Comment if your fingers are hurting, okay? Because that's normal. If your fingers are hurting, it, it's that's totally a normal part of the process. When you put your finger down on the string, you want the pad, or the I'm sorry, the tip of the finger. Do you see the, the little indentations on my fingers there? Now they don't hurt because I have calluses. <laughs> uh, Cindy, it has a crazy. Uh, Cindy O'Neill is like a crazy icon, and Regina's like ouch. So. This is a part that every guitar player goes through, and I'm telling you, the more you play, the better it gets, because you'll get some calluses, and, and I know not everyone like loves them, but when you do develop them in like a month or two, it, it takes the pain out of the equation. So it's okay to be a delicate flower, hashtag delicate flower, okay? But make sure you're on the tips, not the pads. It's difficult to do. Yeah, that's really good. Look at, you want to show the camera? She had, she got it right on the tips, and you can kind of see her indentations. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's what you want to do. That's not further down the, the finger. Now, some of you are going to struggle. You're, you're going to be hitting some other strings. It'll sound like this. And, and that's okay. Try to get a nice clean ring all the way through. Okay. Let's try that just a few more times together, and then I'm going to show you the next uh, chord. By the way, this is an official chord. It's a sad chord, and it's one of the easiest chords to play on guitar. It's called E minor. Say E minor with me. 
So funny. I know. I I just thought that'd be funny to do because I can't hear them saying E minor. Okay. And the way it looks like in books, it'll be a capital E with a little M next to it, and it's scrunched together. E minor. All right. So that's E minor. Lots of songs start with this, and it's a it's a great one to learn. Okay. So let me show you the next one. This next chord is actually a fancy chord and it's not really standard but the reason I'm going to teach it to you is because it can work in a lot of songs and it's a lot of uh, fun to put with the E minor chord okay so let me show you what it is and then I'll tell you the name all right this next chord this, this is what I was playing for the E minor okay what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take I'm going to pull if I pull my hand off See the shape that I have here? I'm going to put it right back on. Try that once because it's going to prep you for this next chord. Just play E minor, pull it off, keep the shape as best as you can. Pull your hand off, keep the shape, and then put it right back on. Okay? The reason I had you do that is because for this very next chord, you're actually going to take your fingers and you're going to move it down one string, both of them are now pressing down on those two strings. Try that a little bit. And don't go back to E minor yet, stay on this chord. It's the same thing as an E minor chord, it's just shifted down, okay? And the real proper way of doing it, but it's okay if you, you're supposed to skip this first string right here. You're supposed to skip that string and start here and come down when you play it. It's not a big deal though if you do hit the top of the string there right now. Later it's, it'll be a deal, but for now don't worry about it. That's This is called an A sus or suspended, A suspended two. A suspended two. You want to say that with me, or that's kind of that's I'll weird. Say it. All right. A suspended two. A suspended two, or the cool, cool way of saying it is A sus two. And I'm not going to go into why right now. That'll be for like lesson 18. But just know it's a nice chord to play with the E minor because E minor. We're going to go back to E minor. Okay, so go back to your first chord that we learned. Okay, we're strumming that, and then take your time and, and go ahead and shift your fingers back to the, the A sus 2, A sus 2, let's play that, okay? So Cindy said both fingers in the same fret for E minor, so yes, both those fingers are in the same fret, So when I and both these chords are actually that. So. Um, you'll notice that when I'm playing, there's no way you can actually do like this. You can have to shift them a little bit to fit them in the fret. And kind of what you want to do to get the better sound, the closer you get to the actual, this metal, that's actually called a fret, right? Actually, uh, there's a special name for it. I can't remember what it is. But the closer you are to it, the less buzzy it, it'll be. If you're further back, it's not really good. So you kind of want to be in the middle or kind of shift it up. But bo yes, both of those fingers are in the same fret. I'm not going over into the next fret. If I was, it would look like that, but I'm not. It's right there. And here's what you want to do with these two chords. You want to practice these chords all week between now and next week. And eventually what you're going for is to transition fluidly between these two chords. So it's gonna be easy for you three days from now to play this just fine. And it's gonna be easy for you three days from now to do this. Okay, again, same fret. This is my, that's my A sus two, A sus two, A suspended two. But the challenge is going to be making it fluid back and forth. What I mean by that is you want to get to this stage. You want to go like this. I'm going to do eight strokes on the E minor 
and then I'm going to do eight strokes on the A sus two. So just listen for a minute. Here it goes. Why don't you jump in on uh, the next eight coming up here? Okay, we'll start on the E minor. Here we go. E minor. Four more. Get ready to switch. And A sus two. Okay, you guys do it with Kayla. Ready? E minor. Right, let's stop here. We'll give them a shot to get set with the E, or the e minor to begin with. So Kayla is a really quick learner. <laughs> so don't don't pace yourself with Kayla, but she's doing really well with this. And I'm sure you guys are too. So all 13 people of you that are in here. By the way, if you have questions as you go through, I will try to look and see it. So that was a great question, Cindy. Others that you have, don't be afraid to ask, okay? We're 20 minutes in. We're going to be done in about 10, 15 minutes. So you're doing really well if you're getting some semblance of this. Um, so let's have Kayla do this uh, together. We're going to start on the E minor. And this is with you guys now, okay? E minor. Ready? One, two, ready, play. Four more. Get ready to switch and... Four more. And then you need to switch back as well. And now keep playing. Switch. And good. We're going to stop right here. Now, uh, let me mention something. Go ahead and put your guitar down. We've been playing for quite a while and just listen for uh, like three minutes. Um, there's some there's some like character qualities and and um, things that musicians everywhere deal with. And it's not just with guitar playing and um, it's 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 just across the board. And one of those things is making mistakes. So I want to talk just for like two minutes on, on making mistakes because this is going to be an important thing, not just musically, but just a life lesson. OK, um, you're going to make mistakes in life. You're going to make them playing guitar. Um, you're going to make them in life. Sometimes mistakes are big ones. Sometimes they're small ones. Uh, what you need to understand is this next week as you play, you're going to be making mistakes and it's not going to sound good. And, and you might get frustrated that you're making mistakes. And um, so there, there's, there are things that you just need to understand that, you know, you are born to make mistakes. That's, this is just a part of life. And it's part of the way that I believe God designed us. Uh, we just were b born mistake makers. And what you need to do is what uh, I believe Jesus did for us. He forgives our mistakes. And so you need to forgive yourself as you're playing. So as you make mistakes, you know, you're playing something not right. There's no point in um, getting frustrated or angry uh, because you can forgive yourself for those mistakes. The biggest thing you need to do is just learn from those mistakes. And that goes for both music and that goes for life as too. Um, I've done some mistakes in my life in the past and I've learned from them. But I need to forgive myself and other people forgive me, too, for the mistakes I've made. So you need to forgive yourself for the mistakes that you're going to make on the guitar moving forward. And that's just the quick life lesson. Now, you ready to get back to music? Is my lesson over? My life lesson is over? Okay. By the way, I'm going to include like a life lesson in the middle of our thing super quick each time. That probably has something to do with life and music kind of combined. So this is gonna be a little bit more, you're gonna get a little bit more for your, you're not paying for anything. So I was gonna say your money. So when students start like picking their guitar like this, that means like teacher, be quiet and start going. Okay, so what you wanna do is this week, you wanna to get to this 
level if you can. It doesn't have to be this fast. I mean, you're going to do it fast. This is what you want to work towards. And again, if you want to bookmark where we are in this, we're, we're at 20, 28 minutes coming up here. You could bookmark the time and come back to this. This is what you want to, to get towards, okay? You want to do this. So just let me play this once here, okay? One, two, ready, go. back and forth and I'm going to talk about the strumming pattern but that's the speed that you want to do it at you want to get comfortable to if you play every day you pick up your guitar for like let's say 10 minutes don't don't do large blocks that's not good I should talk about practicing and I'm not going to right now just pick up the guitar for like five minutes your fingers start hurting hurting put the guitar down come back an hour later another five minutes if you did that all day long during quarantine you're actually going to be a very good guitar player because let's say Eight hours times five minutes is what? 40. 40, 40 minutes of playing. Yeah. And your fingers would hurt less. And actually, that's probably more than most people practice. Um, but the more you do, the quicker you're going to learn this. Okay? So let me talk about my strumming pattern once. When, when we first did the strumming pattern, I was just coming down on what are called quarter notes. Okay? Uh, but then I did this other pattern. trick to this. I'm going to do the same thing and you can actually do this trick. You can actually turn your volume down on your uh, computer and it would look like my hand is going like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See how I'm doing that? So slow motion I'm skipping some and I'm just pulling my pick away on, and I'm basically missing the strings on some. Very slow, it's like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Say that with me and don't hit the strings, just go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And look at our hands. Our hands never stop, do they? It's it's like a pendulum on a clock, okay? And the pendulum never stops. So even though you're, you're playing the notes, ta, ta, ti, ta, ta, ti, it's, it, you keep your hand going each time. So let's try that. Nice little trick. Um, I'm just going to hold my, um, my strings here like this. That's great, Kayla. Or like that. Yep, either way. I'll, I'll do over, she'll do under, kind of like toilet paper. Some people like over, some people like, okay. okay. All right, she's like, move on. Um, and we're just gonna do this, okay? Down, down, up, down. Down, up, down. Down, but look, keep your hand going in the rhythm. Okay, now pull your hand all the way away from your strings. See how that goes? Let's put it back on together. And one, two, back on and go and. Let's pull it off one more time, ready? Pull off, down, up, down, up. But we're gonna go da, 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 da. Ready, and. I actually messed up. Did you see my hand there? Kayla kept it going, but I messed up. Now, let's go ahead and uh, put your hands back here. And we're going to do this kind of medium tempo. This is practice for you in real time. Down, up, down, just like this. One, two, ready, and. I know that's hard. Can't do that now, it's okay, but you will over time. Okay, we're gonna stop right 
here? Good. All right. So I'm going to teach you one last thing before we sign off here, okay? And then we're just going to do a quick review of everything that we learned. Um, there's another exercise that I want you to work on, and I'm, you don't need to know the notes or anything. And it almost doesn't even matter where you do it on the fretboard. This is called the fretboard, by the way. I haven't given you the anatomy of the guitar, but I probably will in, a sec in the future. Um, you're going to take your hand. This is going to be very difficult at first, but if you work on this, this is going to lead to other good things in the future. One of the things that you need to do is to get your fingers to work independently from each other. Okay. And our fingers don't naturally do this to where you can move one finger and the rest of the fingers don't move or this one moves. See how, see how my other ones, have you ever done this? Have you ever played this game? Have you ever done this? Have you ever done this, yeah, Kayla? They do inquire. Okay. And then you like pick the finger, but you don't touch it and they can move it. So um, what, what you're going to do with this next exercise I'm going to teach you is to independently move these four fingers. Okay. Now, the way that I want you to do this is you're going to pick anywhere on the front. Let's just pick for now. Oh, let's pick the, uh, I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven frets, the seventh fret. A lot of you have a dot right here. It's the third dot up. So again, three, five, seven, nine, twelve. We're on the three, five, seven. We're on the seven, okay? You're going to, what I want you to do is take your um, fingers and you're just going to space them kind of where the frets are. You're going to keep these three fingers elevated off the strings. I just knocked my guitar twice. Um, so what you're going to do is your index finger, you're actually going to put on the seventh fret and you're going to play this exercise. Okay. Actually, I'm going to ditch my pick for a second. Um, you're going to press down and, and play that note. And then the next one you're going to play here. And you'll notice I can leave my finger here. I'm going to walk up these frets. I'm going to play this. Oh, I, that's a great question. Kayla asked what string. I'm on the thickest E string, the one on top. So are you on? There you got go. It. She's got it. You've got it. Uh, and you're going to walk right up like this. Uh, let me just do it a little quick, okay? Okay? Try that. Just play around with that. So what? You, yeah. So you'll want each finger to go into a different fret. So you'll start there, then there, then there. She's getting it. That's hard. Try it. That's it. So your pinky finger is really going to stink right now. It's, it's going to be a stinker and it's not going to work for you. Um, but if you can get your fingers to do this, she's doing it. Okay, you can take your pick two, and if you want to, for you intermediate players, you're going to pick back and forth, like down, up, down, up. And it'll go like this. Down, up, down, up. And then you're going to go to the next string up. So that first, the first one I did these four. One, two, three, four. What is the trick to stop it from buzzing? So that's a great question, Regina. Um, if you're a beginner player, it is all placement of the finger. It might be your guitar that is buzzing just because the strings are too close to the fretboard. So it could be a problem with your guitar or it could just be a problem with your placement. Um, if it is buzzing, um, and I know I had you up here, try moving it down uh, to the fifth fret. Or try moving it down to the third fret and doing this exercise. Again, it doesn't matter where on the fretboard you do it. That might prevent some of the buzz. Um, the reason I'm having you do this exercise up here, though, is because it's going to be easier. The fret, the frets are actually closer up here, and they fit your fingers better. So for this exercise. All right. That's a great question. If you have others, comment. So that's good. We're almost done here, okay? About five minutes, we're going to finish up, and then you guys can go back and, and uh, rewind and do this and practice. And I'll submit all of the... Uh, some of the learning stuff on the um, Facebook Facebook group. Okay, so you're going to do this. Okay, and 
that's going to be difficult. I'm making it look easy and it's not. Kayla just did it. And then you go on to the next string and do the same thing. I'm just shifting down to the next string. Listen to this. Doesn't have to be that fast. Okay. And then you're going to go down another string. We're going to go all the way down. Uh, we're going to hit all the strings through the next one. Okay. I'm even buzzing it a little bit. And again, remember, you want the pads of your fingers to be um, like if it's my pinky here, you don't want to be back here. You want to be in the middle of the fret or close to these actual metal frets, the, the ones that are coming down this. Close enough to that. That'll help the buzzing stop, but it's actually okay if it buzzes a little bit. You'll eventually be better about it, okay? So where did I last leave you? Okay, the next um, series, I am now on the... Uh, fourth string from the, from the, uh, they sometimes call this the bottom because that's the bass notes. Nice and slow. That's it. Let's go on to the next one. <laughs> Try it again. It's all right. There you go. That's good. That's it. And then the very the last baby string, the top E string, we'll do it. Okay. So for you overachievers, all of you overachievers, this is what you can do. If you're like, I don't want to be an overachiever. I just want to be a beginner. Skip this. But if you want to be like a I want to shred someday and I want to play guitar solos over stuff. This exercise is going to be helpful. You should work up to this. Listen. I just made a mistake, but I forgave myself and I kept going. It's about the present and into the future. Don't worry about the past. Just don't keep practicing stuff that is wrong or develops bad habits. So again, eventually like really good players, they can fly through this. I am not like an amazing player, but they can go, you know, I can't, I can't do that really fluidly. But that's, that's for like more advanced stuff, okay? So here's what I want you to practice on. Pick up the guitar for five minutes, maybe once every half hour, once every hour. And you want to work on being relaxed. Make sure you have the right position with your guitar. Don't hunch over. Your neck has to be like this. Your arm comes over nice and relaxed over the sound hole. Probably want to use a pick. Nice, again, just firm grip if it falls into the hole. Uh, I won't go there for a second. I'll, I'll, I'll that's for another lesson. Then uh, do an E minor chord. And you want to get to that strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down. And then you want to go to A minor, A sus two. Now listen, if you get really like, uh, this is easy, you can totally do this. Wanna try it, Kayla? Keep going. Oh, sorry. So that's kind of the two together. Those of you that want to kind of learn the soloing, you'll work on that. Eventually, we'll kind of get to that. I didn't even really do a very good solo over that. But you want to get the strumming down, okay? Um, you guys are going to kill it. You guys are going to kill it this week. Don't get discouraged if you're like, uh, this, this I, I was buzzing. 
I couldn't get my fingers to do it. You're not. It's 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 okay. You're gonna make lots of mistakes. The key is stick with it. Five minutes for every like hour. If you want to do a half hour practicing, you're totally okay. Your fingers are gonna hurt even more, but that's a good thing because hurting leads to calluses, and eventually the hurting will come down. All right. So um, stick with it. If you have questions this week. Post them in the um, Facebook group if you're in there or ask a parent to do that for you and I can answer them. And um, we're going to just be in this together, okay? If you're not going anywhere for a week, this is a perfect way to learn how to play guitar. Before I let you go, here's the first guitar uh, lesson that, or the first guitar song that I learned. major chord. So we're going to learn this soon, probably the next lesson. That's actually easier than you think it is. You're doing, I'm doing an E shape and I'm just sliding it way up. So we're going to learn some other stuff that's going to be fun. I'm going to try to do mostly beginner, a couple inter intermediate stuff as we go. Make sure you hit the bell icon to be notified of when this stuff is happening and subscribe to the channel and make sure you share this with friends because it's totally free and we may set up some like donation stuff to help like healthcare workers and some other stuff so we can do some good while we do this. All right, you guys take care and uh, you guys just keep play your hearts out this week. All right. Bye. Bye.